Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Mandela Effect. Well, before I go into this uh, Mandela Effect, I wanted to say I've recently been making some residual videos where I don't say anything. I'm just pointing out what is the change, how I remember it, what do you remember, and you'll see that in the description box of all my videos. So if you don't hear an introduction, just go to the uh, description box and you'll see what I'm trying to say. And in some of my videos, I'll try to put the images side by side. So there's a comparison of the before the change and after the change. And the reason I'm doing this is uh, I want to try something different. And uh, I have already made some videos that were Mandela Effect. And I'm coming back and uh, I am running into some images that I've already covered, <laughs> some uh, images, especially like the, uh, for instance, the Statue of Liberty left-handed torch. I keep finding that one without even looking for it. But, um, and I'll probably make a residual video on that as well. But um, I wanted to do this, um, try it something new, and I hope you've been enjoying that. I uh, recently made the Field of Dreams. Uh, if you build it, they will come. And after I made that video, I uh, did come across a video about realtors that I pinned on there. And they say it just the way I remember it in the movie. If you build it, they will come. So if you haven't checked that out, uh, please do so. I think you might enjoy that. And that's for those, uh, again, that do see these changes. Some of people will say that these changes are not happening, but that's fine. Anyway, um, so uh, let's get back to this uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day Mandela effect. So I noticed a couple of years ago that the word judgment in Judgment Day from this movie had lost the letter E. So it used to be spelled J-U-D-G-E-M-E-N-T. And now it's J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T. So it lost the E right after the G. So um, I have known about this for a couple of years and I'd never bothered to really look into it. But I just made a Terminator uh, residual video and I remember it as Terminator, not the Terminator. And I actually found the trailer. So if you haven't seen that video, please check it out. Uh, I think you will like it. I also found the actual trailer for um, Tim Burton's uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And there are those that say it's never been like that. Well, there's your proof right there. i That's the way I remember it. It's from Disney Studios actually saying it, that it was Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, the one thing that does bother me is that Tim Burton is <laughs> no longer the director of that movie. Um, so it's very strange, but I'm looking into that. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, back to uh, Judgment uh, Day from uh, Terminator 2. So I thought it was just this movie that the word judgment had changed, but it appears that the word judgment has changed all over. Uh, it does no longer have it with the, the E right after the G. So I went on to dictionary.com and wanted to see what I could find. And it said, uh, judgment versus judgment. So judgment is J-U-D-G-E-M-E-N-T versus judgment, J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T. So this is what it says. Um, is judgment spelled with an E. Um, have you ever seen the word judgment spelled two different ways? Sometimes it appears we spell it here with no E, and other times it appears with an E. So it's J-U-D-G-E-M-E-N-T, which is correct. Well, the short answer is that judgment, J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T, is the prevailing dominant spelling. Many think that the difference between judgment, J-U-D-G-E-M-E-N-T, and judgment, J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T, 
is that the longer version is the British spelling, whereas the shorter one is the U.S. convention. While some claim that the Noah Webster uh, claimed that Noah Webster first recorded the spelling of judgment, J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T, in his 1828 American Dictionary of the English Language, both sides of the pond have actually used the spelling J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T since the late 1600s. Though judgment, J-U-D-G-E-M-E-N-T, with an E, has risen and fallen in the popularity in British English. So judgment, J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T, remains the preferred spelling in British legal proceedings and appears more frequently in written work. Today, judgment, J-U-D-G-E-M-E-N-T, is an accepted spelling in British English, but if you stick to judgment without the E, you won't be judged in the UK or in the US. So now it seems they both exist. So there's like a duality, and uh, this is very strange. Well, anyway, uh, here's my video. Um, let me know what you remember.